Welcome to the Creating a Transfer Manifest training module. There are two ways to create a transfer. The first is to navigate to the transfers page and click on the new transfers button. And the second, which we will utilize in this demo, is to select the package or packages you wish to transfer, then click on the new transfer button. The first step will be to navigate to the active packages tab to find the inventory you wish to transfer. Select the packages you wish to transfer to another license by selecting the first package. Then, while holding down the control key, command key if you're on a Mac, click on the second package so that they are both highlighted in orange. Once selected, click on the new transfer button to submit your transfer. Starting at the top, select the destination for the transfer by clicking on the magnifying glass. Then, selecting the licensee, we will transfer the packages to the drop-down. In this example, a retail store. Once highlighted, click on the green Select button. Next, you will select the type of transfer. For this demo, it will be an unaffiliated transfer, as it is going to a license that is not connected to the originating license. You will now enter the estimated departure and arrival information trying to be as accurate as possible on those times. Followed by the planned route the driver will take, it is important to be as specific as possible in this section, understanding that there will always be things that come up like road construction that will cause detours, but be as specific as possible with your planned route. You can look up the instructions on the internet, then copy and paste those instructions right into the planned route field. After the planned route, you will select the licensee that will be the transporter for the transfer. In this case, we are using a third-party transporter and will select their license in the drop-down. You will be prompted to enter a phone number for the driver every time. And here you will enter the driver information. In this case, since we are using a third-party transporter, we will need to contact the transporter to verify the driver information as well as the planned route and departure arrival information for the transfer. Metric will save the driver information for up to 90 days to easily recall and reuse. The same is true with the vehicle information. It will be saved just like the driver for up to 90 days. If the driver and vehicle are not used within the 90-day window, then Metric will delete that information. Since it is an unaffiliated transfer, you will be required to enter a wholesale price for the packages to be transferred to the new destination license. And the wholesale price for the second package. Once the information is entered, be sure to review the data. If everything's correct, Click Register Transfer to create the transfer manifest in Metric. The first thing you'll notice after submitting the transfer is that the two packages included on the transfer have now been taken out of the Active Packages tab. To view the transfer and print the manifest, navigate to the Transfers page. Continue to the Outgoing Transfer tab, where you will see the transfer manifest you just created. You can view the information regarding the manifest by clicking on the information caret to the left of the manifest number. Then, click on the History tab, so you can see that section expand. To view and print the manifest, make sure the manifest you want to view is selected and highlighted in orange. Then, click on the View Manifest button. Now, you can view the actual manifest. In the upper right, you can select the icon to download the manifest as a digital file, or the print icon to print the manifest right from this screen. Print at least two copies, one for the driver to sign for your records, and one to send with the driver. Once printed, you will close the page to continue working in metric. 